How can you be so calm about this? We have a deadline. I said too bad. It didn't sound like you meant it. Peggy hasn't sent us a single listing in a month. No, thanks. Listen to this. These guys are making a ton of money off a stupid app that just quotes Shakespeare. I would love to find us a cute little craftsman. You know, something with beautiful work. It's just quotes from Shakespeare. There's nothing original about that. But I still love mid-century. I can't decide. At this point, I would take anything with four walls that would get us out of here. Meanwhile, Jackson and I can't get a single investor interested in any of our original ideas. I just don't get it. Oh, I gotta go. Oh. Wait, I want to take a picture first. I'm going to be late. Hashtag my favorite shirt. Love you. Bye. Bye. Amanda? Yes, Mr. Pennington? Did Rebecca say she was going to be late? Uh, don't think so. Not like her. Did I beat Mr. P into the office? Nope. I took a different route to work today. I wanted to see if there was any for sale signs. What are you looking at? Just quickly checking out some more dating profiles. Got three requests to chat and two new winks last night. That's an overnight record. Winks? It's not as strong as a request to chat, but still a possibility. <laughs> Community Crest Insurance? You know, I really love this part of the book because in exploring our hero, we, we find some of our vocabulary words of the week. Some of my favorite ones, actually. Currently, our hero is ecstatic. Can we see what ecstatic looks like on your faces? There you go, Patrick. There you go, Bobby. Looking good. Community Crest Insurance. Hi, I need to Mr. Pennington, please? Oh, he's unavailable at the moment. Oh. Would you like to speak with our agent, Rebecca Jones? Tell him his hair appointment's changed Mr. to the Mr. Pennington's hair appointment is changed to the 14th. Yeah. I'll let him know. I was really hoping that was going to be a potential client I could take. Nope, just a hair appointment. Can you trim those things? Just the sides. <laughs> oh, can I still come by your place to use the laundry room tonight? They raised the prices at the laundromat near my building again. You know you're always welcome at my place. For the next two months, anyway. After that, when our lease is up, we are so out of there. If Matthew would just get a little motivated. He wants to buy a house, too, doesn't he? After we got married, I was only supposed to move in with him for a couple of months while we found a house. It's 14 months later, and I'm still reminding him that to find a house, you have to actually look for one. <laughs> oh, Jackson, what's up? Not much, man. Thought I'd find you here. I've got an idea for a new app. Yeah, what's the idea? Check it out. Zombies. OK. How is it now? Answer this. What's the one problem people have with zombies? We can't understand them. They just moan. So this app will translate the zombie moans into words. <laughs> well, there's a zombie translator, a learn to talk like a zombie app, and a zombie thesaurus. It looks like zombies have already been done, but I'm telling you, man, we got to sell another app soon, because Money's on the tight side right now. Tell me about it. There are thousands of drivers on the road. How come nobody wants to buy insurance from me? Oh, well, here's some good news. Peggy just sent me a new listing. Hi, Rebecca. Did you see that listing I sent you? Yeah, it's cute. I know. But it's only a one bedroom, and I know you were looking for two bedrooms. Oh, no, no, let's check it out. Yes, I thought you should definitely see it. Great, I mean, two is our first choice, but if it's super cute, you never know. Maybe Matthew will like it. The market is hot right now, so. We need to act fast. I'll head over right now. Peggy. Hi. You know, I've tried calling him twice. I don't know why he's not here. Maybe we should start without him. OK. These houses are so hard to come by. You're going to have to drop all that. Yeah. Yeah, you, you mentioned that. You mentioned uh -huh. that. But uh -huh. see, I've got it unconverted right here. So I figured that if it was at least yeah, at that I'm point. Sorry. Give, me, give, me, give me a second. Uh -huh. Isn't it wonderful? Oh, here he is. Hey, where are you? Hey, babe, sorry, I just saw your message. I'm at Jackson's. We're writing some code on a new app. Wouldn't it be better if you were actually here? 
Well, I, I can see everything just fine. All, all you have to do is turn the camera around, babe. All right. Okay, as you can hopefully see, the living room is fairly large. It's a craftsman, 75 years old, an amazing find. And what's the asking price? I love it. Something's wrong with this program's code. I can't get anything to work. I need you to take a look before it crashes. Baby, I'm sorry, I gotta go. No, Matthew. But we'll talk about everything tonight. Just take lots of pictures, okay? Hey, thanks, Peggy. I'm sorry. I guess we're just gonna have to let you know. Don't wait too long. This one's not gonna last. I don't care, Mr. 105. Rules are rules, and waterbeds are not in the lease agreement. So either get rid of it or find another place to live. Bye. Tawny, how are you? Mr. 210, what do you want? It's Jackson. What makes you think I want something? You never talk to me unless you need something. Well, now that you mention it, I was actually wondering if we could reopen the pet policy discussion. You know the rules, no pets. Yeah, but, well, well... Oh, put a bucket under it. Stop bothering me. Who are you? You don't live here. No, I'm Amanda. Rebecca's friend? Who? Rebecca Jones, she lives here. You see that sign over there? This is not a laundromat. No, I was just checking on I the... found it. Thanks for watching my laundry while I ran to get more detergent. So you're friends with Mrs. 309? Yeah. Did you guys not meet? Oh, this is Tawny, our wonderful building manager. Tawny, this is one of my best friends, Amanda. Hi. Carry on. That lady is so scary. Please, I know. She gave me nightmares for the first three months that I lived here. Maybe just do one loan today and another tomorrow. Okay. I'm so hungry. Could this thing be any slower? You know that house we looked at? It had its own built-in microwave. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we should think about what we're going to do in case it doesn't work out for us right now. What do you mean? Well, we may need to consider extending our lease. What about the house? I'm just trying to think ahead. We need to be careful about how we spend our money right now, so there's a chance. We're going to have to keep living here. I just think that house could be the one. Peggy, Rebecca, a little birdie told me that another couple's about to make an offer on that one bedroom. I need to know right now if you and Matthew are in or out. Okay, let me just call Matthew and I will call you right back. So listen to this. Rebecca says that our real estate agent needs to know if we want this house like now. Does it have a yard for a dog? But this house is all wrong. It's a lot of money to spend when we're trying to start a business. Uh, let's forget it. Yes. Peggy. Hi, Rebecca. Matthew and I are in. Okay, good. Let's go for it. Great, I'll get an offer in right away. That one's broken. Whoa. <laughs> the machine, it's broken. Oh. Try the one on the left. Thanks. I haven't seen you around here before. You just move in? No, I'm trespassing. Actually, I have an apartment a couple of blocks away, but my friend lives upstairs. How about you? Do you live here? I do. The only thing I'm guilty of is having way too much laundry to do. <laughs> what exactly is on your phone that has you so engrossed in it? Online dating. Hey, 
Hey, honey. Sorry, I was so late at Jackson's. We just really want this next half to be a good one. We could use the extra money, right? <laughs> yeah. I, I gotta say, I'm surprised that you're not mad about the house. Why would I be mad? I'm so excited. This is gonna be our first real home. What are you talking about? Well, I told Peggy to make the offer. Why would you do that? Because you told me to. You said, let's get it. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I See? said, let's forget it. Oh, stupid autocorrect. So you don't want the house? No. I can't use all of our savings on a down payment while I'm working on our app. Great. Now I have to call Peggy first thing in the morning and cancel the offer. She's gonna hate us. Just tell her it's my fault. I intend to. Hey, honey. Please, we will Hi. Be here all night and we'll get back to you Look, babe, time. I'm sorry about what just happened. Looks like a power outage. Oh, man, there goes the Wi Fi. Hashtag blackout. And this is dead, too. Oh, great. Now my phone is dying. I'm down to 4%. Hashtag, what are we going to do now? You gotta help your brother, man. I hear sister. You got to do the best you can. Okay, apparently we don't have anything to eat that isn't frozen. Oh. We got ice cream. Babe, come on. You can't stay mad at me forever. If you give it all you got. <laughs> Lucky for you, I'm in a sharing mood. Mm-mm. Because you aren't eating my ice cream. Mm-mm. The cherry chunk is mine. Mint chocolate chip is your favorite. Are you kidding me? I only eat the mint when we're out of the cherry. How did I not know that? Then why are we buying the mint? Mm. I thought you liked the mint because green is your favorite color. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not? Well, then tell me, Mrs. Jones, <laughs> what's your favorite color? Yes. Can I have a hint? I told you just the other day, you were wearing my favorite shirt. Blue? Blue is your favorite color? <laughs> oh. How did I not know that? Oh. Hey there. Oh, hey. What brings you around? I'm supposed to go to dinner tonight and meet this guy, but I don't remember which restaurant. So you came here? Yeah, I was going to see if my friend had power. Interesting. Well, it looks like the blackouts affected the whole city, so 
bet your date's calling off. I just have to check my soulmate hot mailbox. Well, if your date is canceled, maybe we could keep each other company. Thanks for the offer, but... Okay. Good luck. <laughs> maybe I'll see you around. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> All right. Be safe out here. You too. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, you're not. It's three times in a row now. I said I was sorry. Yeah, but you didn't mean it. It doesn't say in the rules you have to mean it. But you could try and be nice about it. Mr. Jones, I am so very, very sorry. Is there any way you could possibly forgive me? I don't believe a word you just said. <laughs> Ooh, ooh. No, we're not going anywhere. Seven, yeah, there's your five. <laughs> I'm so winning this game. This game is rigged. <laughs> Me either. Three, four, five, six. I feel like tonight was one of the best nights we've had in a really long time. The worst. I feel closer to you. Really? Yeah, I learned about your favorite color. Ice cream flavor. I can't remember the last time I played a board game. So I'm not crazy for thinking that? Not at all. I wish every night could be a blackout. Now you sound crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, why not? We could just lose all the gadgets. And do what? This. Spend time with each other. I mean, imagine how many more amazing nights we could have if technology didn't always get in the way. So you're saying that you could go without your phone and that house listing website that you're constantly checking? For a few hours a night, I could. Could you go without yours? I could. Don't necessarily want to. Are you seriously thinking about that? Yeah, why not? I can think of a thousand reasons why not. I'm just saying, if we don't want to go without them, that's one thing. But if we can't, then maybe we have a problem. So, what do you propose that we do every night? Well, we could go on dates. I don't know about you, but I'm married. With each other. I mean, remember how much fun we used to have when we first started dating? Yeah, we had phones then too. Yeah, but they didn't always get in the way. I mean, we just had a fight and almost bought a house because of some silly text message. I just don't want that to be us. Okay. So, every night, weekends too? Anytime we're at home together. No gadgets. And we'd be dating instead. All right, fine. I'm down to give it a shot. Yay, look at that. The Joneses are unplugging. Tomorrow night's gonna be fun. Maybe. But the night's not over yet. Oh, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Perfect. Unplugged? Is that a thing? Our neighbor doesn't use the internet. Really? Check it. You know what I did last night without any power? Sat around my apartment with nothing to do. Just me and my imagination. Pretty scary. <laughs> then, I came up with this awesome idea for an app. Wrote it down on paper, and when the power came back on, I created this. Oh, cool dinosaurs! It's pretty cool, right? You just upload a pic of somebody, and then this guy comes and bites off their head. You know, we should also make it to where you can choose what to bite. Yeah, like if you want to take someone's leg off instead. Exactly. Then you can post and share the mangled pic. I just don't know what to call it yet. Uh, you should name it after a Tyrannosaurus Rex. That's the coolest dinosaur. Like, uh, like Rex pick or bite? I'm trying to write off some Tyrannosaurus. Uh, Tyranno. Chomp? 
to Reynolds. Cool. Here we go. Yeah. You did all this in one night? You know, surprisingly, without video games and the internet distracting me, I actually got a lot of work done. Hey, so maybe Miss Jones is onto something with this unplugging thing. No, still an awful idea. Please tell me this is some kind of sick joke. I really don't see why this is a big deal, Amanda. Of course it's a big Brian deal. Brian Miller's daughter was in an accident texting and driving. She's OK, but the car is totaled. Open up plan. OK. Team driver's going to make me pull out my hair. Doesn't he mean his toupee? <laughs> Wait, so you're going to go without texting, email, telephone, and social media of any kind on purpose? I'm just hoping this will bring things back to the way they used to be. So you're going to disconnect so you can reconnect. Exactly. Sounds horrible. Hey. Hey. How was work? Still finding it hard to find new clients, but other than that, not bad. <sighs> so are we still going to do this unplugging thing? Well, we're both home together now, so yeah. Starting now. OK. Won't be needing that the rest of the night. And I won't be needing mine. It's funny, I wish I could take a photo of them just sitting there like that. Yeah. How was work? You already asked me that. Right. How was school? It's great. Good. I should email Peggy uh, you know, uh, about uh, uh, No email. Right. It's just a text. Be right back. wedding gift. People who actually bake cakes put them in these things, but since that's never going to happen, I think we should just put our phones inside it whenever we're home. That way they won't tempt us. But what if we get an important phone call? Well, it's glass. We can see who's calling. That way, if it's Peggy or someone important, we'll just answer. We're not Neanderthals. OK, so what should we do on our first date? Never come over here. I don't know. I guess maybe because it's not a part of either of our commutes. Yeah, but these houses are great. It's too bad there's no for sale signs. I know, right? Oh, wait, I want to stop and take a picture. No, I wish I could take a picture. Guess we'll just have to remember them. Hmm. What are you two doing out here? What are you doing out here? Looking for you. I thought we were going to work. Oh, we're already unplugged. Hey, it's OK. We can work tomorrow. Listen, I'm a little worried you two haven't thought this all the way through. We'll be fine. I've got laundry to do anyway, so I'll leave you to it. Bye, Jackson. See you at home. Have fun folding clothes. I will. <laughs> Look at us running into each other again. What are you doing here? Um, laundry? Yeah, me too. OK. Jackson. Hmm? My name is Jackson. And yours? Amanda. Amanda. So you're pretty into phone apps, right? I guess so. Why? I'm working on this new one called Tyranno Chomp. A dinosaur takes a bite out of your pick. See? I like it. But you should have the dinosaur make claw marks on the picture, too. You know, like, scratch and then chomp. That's brilliant. Really? Yeah. You're pretty good at this. You're still doing the online dating thing, huh? This is the best way to meet a quality guy. What kind of guys are you into? Mm, tall. Definitely someone with a really super steady, well-paying job. <laughs> 
What kind of girls do you like? Someone who's really cute, but I can tell is probably just as cute on the inside once we get to know each other. Well, that's sweet. You know what we should do? What? Get you on Soulmate Hunt. I bet you could find tons of girls like that on here. I'm so proud of us. Me too. Our first night of being unplugged is done. We had our little date. Yeah, it was cool. Mm. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. I'll miss you. Miss you more. two people that have actually noticed each other. I know. I never really noticed how involved everyone is in their devices until just now. I know. People think with all these advances in technology that they can connect with more people more easily, but they really are. Yeah, it's just not the same. No, it really isn't. I just walked in from work uh, a couple of blocks, and every single person is staring at some device. You work in the area? Oh, yeah, the uh, car dealership right down the street on Main. You work at the dealership. I own the dealership. So this guy's a potential client? Yes, a big one. I just ran into him at the cafe. We started talking, and he was the only other person in line who wasn't buried in his phone. I'm starting to notice people now. It's weird. I'm telling you, if you build a community crest insurance for your entire dealership, I can guarantee we'll beat the other firm's rate. Well, I do like the fact that you're local. You're right down the street. That's right. And Rebecca, thank you. Yes, of course. It was nice to meet you. This is great. I just brought in a major client. You're probably going to get most of the commission. Peggy. Hey, Rebecca. I got your message about unplugging. I wasn't sure I understood. You don't want me to call at night? Oh, no, no. Matthew and I are unplugging. We'll always answer right away if you call. So while I've got you on the phone, is there anything? Not in your budget. Well, I might have some good news. I think I just brought in a big client who is going to give me a large commission. So maybe we can raise the budget a little bit. Fabulous. Um, I'll look at my listings and probably get back to you soon. Great. Thanks. Bye. This was a horrible idea. I told you. Just an awful, terrible idea. I am so behind on the app, and Rebecca's going to be home any minute. And there's a ton of work I still want to get done. And this whole unplugging thing isn't even really working. That's kind of sad. We're married. We love each other. It's not supposed to be this hard. I don't know, man. What did you guys used to do when you first started dating? We did all sorts of new things, you know? We'd go to new restaurants and events around town, concerts. Okay, well, what's something new that you two could do now? I don't know. What's something you don't do, like ever? I'm home. You doing work? Yeah, but now that you're home, I will have Officially unplugged, just give me a sec. Well, I couldn't come up with anything to do tonight, and Amanda had no interest in coming over. Amanda? Yeah, I thought it would be fun to have some company. Is that weird? No, not at all. But we don't need company tonight, because I got us a voucher, and you and I are taking a Balinese cooking class. Balinese? Uh -huh. hmm, that sounds fun. What made you come up with that? Oh, well, I was just thinking about how when we first started dating, we used to always do new things, and well, I figured with the way that we eat, learning how to cook would be very beneficial. I love it, but why Balinese? I was in the mood for it. Really? Yeah, I love Balinese. Name a Balinese dish. It, it may have been the only voucher left. <laughs> I 
I'm a culinary expert, but so far, Chef Neela. Shh. Basics of Bolognese seems pretty basic. Well, I'm sure some people study this for years without really mastering it. Now, once our vegetables are prepared, we're going to take our rice and throw it into boiling water. Huh? I'm so? just saying, we could do that in the microwave in less than 60 seconds. <laughs> Something funny, Mr. and Mrs. Jones? No. Sorry. And now we're going to prepare the bumbu and the peppers for the tavia lala manis. Get cooking. I think I spoke too soon. Yeah, this class just got a bit more. Quick, which one is a bumbu? No, I was hoping you would know. Usually I would just check my phone. Just start, start tapping those peppers. Is this right? Staring at us. You're not helping. I don't think we're cutting the right bumbu. Do something. Yeah. It's possible. That's a start. For, I'm glad that you know this. How do you fail a one-day cooking class? I hope we didn't fail. We were kicked out. <laughs> All that work and humiliation, and we didn't even get to eat anything. I know, I'm starving. What do you think of what I'm thinking? Can we go to the outside backup plan? Yeah. Ah, oh, see? We don't need to know how to cook. Mm. Why waste all that time and energy when people will just make pizza for you? Oh, I know. Well, if I could, I would eat pizza every day. I knew I married the right woman. Thank you for a wonderful day, Mr. Jones. Oh, it was my pleasure, Mrs. Jones. But please, call me Matthew. Okay, then. Matthew. Okay. Uh, guess that's a good night. Where are you going? Well, I'm a gentleman, and we're only dating, right? Right. Good night, Mrs. Jones. Good night, Mr. Jones. I mean, Matthew. That's right. You're right there, babe. with anything? We're curious about these two bikes. Actually, they were waiting just for you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you got a fair price? Let's talk. What do you want? I have this. What is that? It's a petition. We want to turn this into a pet-friendly building. I've got the support of almost every tenant here. Can I see that? Wow. So you've got almost every tenant here, huh? That's right. Wow. That's impressive. Thank you. Well, you said I couldn't have a dog because it might bother people, but it looks like everyone's on board. Oh, well, not me. No pets. Those are the rules. you knew. I was just following along. Are we lost? I don't know exactly where we are, but we're not lost. Okay then, Magellan, which way are we heading? Well, if you look at the shadows of the sun, it seems like we're going east. Shadows? The sun? Well, it's not like I have any tech that I can use, do I? Excuse me? 
Hey, can you help us? I think we're lost. Well, I think folks your age got lost. Can't you ask your phones where you are? Oh, we don't have our phones. No? I like you two even more now. Ralph Wilson. Matthew, and I wouldn't say that we're lost. Yes, we are. And hi, I'm Rebecca. It's nice to meet you, Mr. Wilson. Oh, please, everybody calls me Ralph. Uh, where are you headed? Oh, we live at Sycamore and Harrison. Down to the end of the block? Turn right, about a dozen blocks up that way. Oh. I guess we were lost. <laughs> oh, uh, can I give you a hand with that? Oh, it'd be very kind of you. Thank you. Where would you like it? In the wheelbarrow. Oh, Ralph, are these your wife's flowers? Well, they used to be. After she passed away, I just worked to keep them going. I'm sorry. Well, you're doing a great job. I'm sure she'd be very proud. Well, I guess we'll leave you to it. Thank you very much. Oh, my pleasure. Uh, uh guys. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Thanks again, Ralph. Bye. Bye. Hope to see you again. Me too. Well, we're, we're getting to see the neighborhood. <laughs> Here comes the mushrooms and the snow peas. See, this is easy. Who needs Chef Nilu's stupid cooking class anyway? Right? And I think we're even being healthy. Toast. To us. To us. Oh, wait, that must be Peggy. You gave her her own ringtone? Hey, Peggy. Rebecca. There's a hot new listing that you two have got to see. Really? OK, great. One. ASAP, honey. Trust me, this one is not going to last. I'm telling you, it is perfect. Tomorrow, then. 10 AM, I'll text you the address. Great. Bye. Bye. Two bedrooms and two bathrooms, updated kitchen and garage. So what do you think? Peggy's right. It ticks off all the boxes. And it's well within your new budget. I vote yes. I mean, I don't think it's going to get any more perfect. It's a bit of a commute. And it needs a lot of fixing up. But I vote yes. Yes. <laughs> I told you we find the one. <laughs> so what now? Hey, guys. Jackson. So what are you up for tonight? A little extreme road rage or the old standby? I'm fine with either one. Hey, Jackson, did you hear? We put in an offer on a house. Really? Yeah. We took the plunge. Gotta say, it's gonna be weird not having you guys down the hall, but congrats. Thank you. So what video games are we playing tonight? We're not playing video games. Rebecca and I are unplugged, remember? Yeah, but, I mean, you said we were having game night. Yeah, game night. What's this? It's a board game, silly. Thank you. Are you two OK? I mean, this stuff's straight up old folks' home. No, it's not. I made Matthew play when we started dating, and he loved it. Listen, I love you guys and all, but there's absolutely no way I'm going to sit here and play board games like I'm some old grandpa. Let me get that. Hey, Matthew. Hey. I brought dessert. Why, thank you. <laughs> no problem. Hey, you. Hello. Wait, you two know each other? Yeah, we met in the laundry room a couple of times. So, can I be red? Hey, here you go. See you with the warm colors. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, oh, six. Oh, oh, that's me. <laughs> Paying the 50 bucks. Right, I'm broke. Oh, that's cool. I'll take an IOU. Really? Whoa, hold up. There's no change in the rules. Yeah. Hey, this is between Jackson and me. Yeah. Who said there was a rule against IOUs? Yeah, because otherwise I'm out. And this is so much fun. I don't want to be out already. That's not how it works. When you're out, you're out. That's the whole point. Show me that in the rule book, then. Yeah, let's verify that. Fine. OK. Here. This could take a while. I'm going to grab a drink. Anybody want a refill? Mm -hmm. Oh, me. Yeah, me too. I'll help. Oh, thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> All right, let's see it. <laughs> Dude, dude, I need you to hook me up with a man. 
Really? Yeah. I don't think you're her type. What's wrong with me? Absolutely nothing. It's not you. It's her. She has unrealistic expectations because of that dating app. The dating app? Oh, wait. We're supposed to be unplugged. No, you're supposed to be unplugged. Besides, it's only take a minute. Then we start over. <laughs> oh, come on. You're Hello. cheating. No, I need a you're picture. You're completely cheating. Okay. Perfect. What are you doing? I don't want the profile to be me. Well, what would I put? Unemployed, lonely scooter driver seeks love? It's true. Come on. You know that's not how hey, it works. I didn't like this unplugging thing in the beginning, and now Here, I'm you hang on to the. Of course, phone. he needs a name. Um, Shepard. Yeah, Shepard's good. This is ridiculous. Just wait a second. Bear with me. Um, Bad Shepard. Bad Shepard. You have no shame. That's all right. Taking you guys so long. We're ready to play. Come on. Coming. Hey, Tawny, what do you want, Mrs. 309? Got a lot of things to do today. I'll be quick. Matthew and I are finally buying a house, so we won't be renewing the lease this time. Are you sure? There's a long list of people waiting for vacancies here. Yes, we're sure. Right, whatever. Bob invited me to a car dealer's association luncheon. Great job. Thank you. Hopefully we'll be real busy when I get back. That didn't take long. Easy for you to judge. You already found the love of your life. The rest of us, we have to search for it every chance we get. Whoa. What is it? This guy and I have the highest match score I've ever seen. He fits all the criteria that I put in for the perfect man. So, are you gonna chat? Maybe I'll just wink to start things off? Yeah. <sighs> okay. How are we looking over here? Good. Almost done with the claw scratch marks. I thought you were going to be done with that yesterday. I know. I'm, I haven't had as much time as I thought I would. Listen, man, I understand your situation and all, even if I don't agree with it. But seriously, man, I need you to do your part. You don't want that teaching job forever, do you? No. OK. I'll get it done. I, I promise. Hey, look, this stupid dating profile I made actually had someone respond to it. Really? Yeah. It actually worked. <laughs> what do I do? I don't know. But you got her attention now. Look, if you want my advice, I would I would just take down the profile. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'll take it down now. Or I could ask her out. That's weird, bro. What if this is my only chance? I think I'm gonna do it. I mean, think about it. Nothing else has worked for me in the past. And maybe this will. You do what you gotta do. I, I just want no part of it. Besides, um, Rebecca is on her way home. I need to get out of here. Good luck. Thanks. Hey. Hey. I'm home. No oh, more computer. It's almost done. Come on, it's time to unplug. Just need one more sec. Go on. I guess I'm done. Good. Well, I'm gonna go change and get ready for our date. Sounds good. Oh, hey, I was wondering if you wanted to check out that new Italian spot. What are you doing? Nothing, just nothing. Don't say nothing when you're on the computer. I've got a lot of work I need to get done on the app. It was just another minute. 
Okay, well, that's one strike. Understood, and there won't be a second strike. I'm gonna go finish getting ready for our date. And I'm taking this with me. again? Not yet. Actually, we're going on a picnic. I must say, I see the two of you out and about more often than any other young couple. Well, we're trying something different. <laughs> I like that. You should try it out sometime yourself. All right. It's been a long time since I've had company for supper. How would you two youngsters like to have an old man grill up a couple of steaks for you? Are you kidding me? That would be amazing. Good. Fine. The uh, Thursday night? Sounds like a date. Hey! Great. We'll bring the wine. All right. See you later. Bye bye. Don't get lost. <laughs> Perfect day. Perfect date. You're always burning bright. in the park for over two hours. <laughs> I never nap. Are you sure that you didn't put sleeping pills in our lemonade? Uh, how about the cop? He was the best. <laughs> There's no loitering in the park. <laughs> you looked so confused. I was a little bit freaked out that it was already dark and there was a man yelling at us and shining a light in our face. Well, he did give us the option of spending the night in jail. This is true. Why do you so many miss calls? What? I have seven from Peggy. I have nine. It's too late. What's too late? You didn't get my messages? We just saw that we missed your calls. You lost the house. We lost the house? What? Wait, I'm putting you on speaker. How? We made a full price offer. Apparently so did several other people. There was a bidding war and it happened without us. We can offer a little more and still be in our budget. It's too late. You already accepted another offer. So that's it? Right, so. Look, I like you guys, and I'm willing to work with you to find another place, but you've got to return my calls. We get it. We just... We, we understand. And we're sorry. I'll keep looking, and I'll let you know if there's another house to see. But for now, I'll keep checking that listing site I shared with you. New places pop up in there all the time. Will do. Thanks. Obviously, it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be for us to have the perfect house. Maybe it's not perfect. Let's not beat ourselves up over it. I mean, come on. We chose to unplug for us, and I think it's been going great. So what? We missed your call. It's not the end of the world. Matthew, I spoke to Tawny, and I gave notice on our apartment. You did what? I told her we were buying a house and moving out, and I officially said that we wouldn't be renewing the lease. I didn't plan it, I just ran into her. I cannot believe that you gave notice without a signed contract on the new house. I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. I'll talk to Tanya as soon as I can. This is 
driving me nuts. I don't know what I'm more upset about, the house or the fight. You and Matthew will work it out. You always do. And there will be other houses. There always are. Well, Peggy wants me to constantly check this listing site, but I can't do that in the afternoon and evenings when Matthew and I are together. Well, why don't you guys just take a break from unplugging, you know? Just un-unplug for a night or two. We've been having such a great time going on these dates without technology getting in the way. Besides, when I caught him using his laptop for even a second, I yelled at him. I would never hear the end of it if I suggested we start using again. I see. So, what are you gonna do? I'll just have to check the listings when I can. I could always check it here at work. Like you and your dating sites. Speaking of which, I have a date with Mr. Perfect later. We're getting coffee. Ooh, good luck. Thanks. Amanda. Hey, Jackson. What are you doing here? I'm just meeting a guy I met online for coffee, but it's pretty late. And no texts or calls or anything. I guess the perfect guy stood me up. Then he's definitely not perfect. I should probably go. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just hanging around today. If you want, I could get us a cup of coffees. I don't know. Well, I mean, you're already here. You look great. Why spoil your afternoon all because of some selfish guy? All right, then. OK. What did Tony say? She already rented our apartment for the first. How is that possible? There were people on a waiting list, and when she called, they accepted. So now we have no house, no apartment. Matthew, I'm sorry. Wow. I guess we really screwed up. We didn't have our phones on us. Missing a phone call isn't a mistake. scratch marks like I suggested. Oh, I had to. Seriously, that was a great idea. So, when can I get one for my phone? Well, we've got to sell it first. Sell it? To who? In a perfect world, somebody like the Absurdist, they make all the best apps. That's where the money is. So, what are you waiting for? It's ready. You know what? You're right. I guess so. To not dating. To not dating. <laughs> Spot. <Yeah. laughs> Let me show you what else I got. Okay. So I was thinking about Adeline. So now we have no house. Pretty soon, no apartment. And Matthew's still really mad at me for messing up. I'm sorry, Rebecca. Look, he probably just needs time. No way. What? It's Dash Shepard. That jerk who stood you up? He's apologizing. He said his grandmother was sick and he needed to go visit her in the hospital. You're not buying that, are you? What do you mean? That's so sweet. That's the worst excuse ever. I cannot believe you told her that. I didn't tell her anything. Dash did. He's trying to be a good guy and apologize for standing her up. You need to stop pretending to be someone you're not. This is not a good idea. But Amanda and I talked for almost five hours last night, all because of this guy. I'm telling you right now, this isn't going to end well. 
So do you think I should see if he wants to grab coffee again? You need a cooling off period. Think before you write back. Fine. Hello, Matthew. I'm drowning over here. I mean, I could use your help. What do you want me to do? I'm already in an awkward position as it is. How? Amanda is my wife's friend. Do not tell Rebecca. Seriously. I, I promise you I'll straighten this out. You better. Our pitch meeting with the absurdist is a go. Seriously? Yes. Oh. We got to finalize our pitch. Right, let's get to work. Welcome home. What is all this? Oh, it's just a little something for me to say that I'm sorry for arguing. Wow. Well, I'm a lucky girl. Yes, you are. Mm. And it's also a little bit of a celebration. For what? Well, I don't know how, but Jackson got us a meeting to pitch our dinosaur app to the absurdists. What? I'm so proud of you guys. What happens if they actually buy it? Well, we may have enough for first, last, and security deposit on new apartment. But what about buying a house? Don't you still want that? Of course I do, but we have to be out of here by the end of the month, and I doubt that's enough time for us to find the right place. So, I figure that we should get on the apartment hunt immediately. Hmm. You know, babe, we could get a two-bedroom apartment, and that way we'll have more room while we look for the house. Hmm. Who knows, maybe we'll even get a building with a pool. <laughs> That could be nice. Oh, honey, don't forget we've got that dinner with Ralph tomorrow night. Hey, babe, did you grab shampoo? I was... About to look at houses? Yeah. Why are you trying to get out of this apartment so bad? Why are you so set on staying here? Do you even want to buy a house? Honestly, I don't know. I grew up in a house that my parents couldn't afford. There was always something leaking or breaking. They struggled just to pay the mortgage. So no, I don't want that life. Well, maybe if you'd spent your entire life living in apartments, you'd feel differently hearing your neighbor's TV, sharing the same washer and dryer. I've lived that long enough. Long enough to know that I'm never gonna be happy unless we have a house. Hmm. It takes a lot more than a house to be happy, Rebecca. Where are you going? To Jackson's. Overnight company before, but we can make do. Thanks. Hey, whatever happened with you two, I want you to remember. Rebecca's top of the line. You two are great together. I'm sure you'll be fine. Thanks. You're a good friend.
really sad. Nice try, but you don't use melancholy and sad in the same sentence. They mean the same thing. Are you sure? Because you seem melancholy and sad. What's up? Nothing. Girl trouble? Why do you say that? You haven't texted Mrs. J. You always text her. It's complicated. You ask me, sometimes girls are more trouble than they're worth. I'm not gonna like girls until I'm 13. What's that? Just my app idea. Your app idea? Yeah. The dinosaur one you told me about got me thinking, and I thought it'd be cool if you could have a pet dinosaur. Yeah, it is cool. It's like those other electron pet games, but with a dinosaur. First, you watch over the egg, and once it hatches, you have to feed and care for him as he grows up. That's awesome. Yeah. Too bad I can't actually make it, though. Why not? I don't know how. Well, it's... It's not so much complicated as it is time consuming. You just have to have patience and a good eye for detail. And those are both qualities that you have. Really? Mm -hmm. Think so? Of course I do. In fact, I could probably teach you the basics of design. Really? That'd be great. But uh, that's going to have to wait for another occasion, your mom's here. Bye, Mr. J. See you tomorrow. Later, Patrick. budget, but it's, I don't want to build up your expectations, but it's perfect. But if you want it, we'll have to jump on it. I can set up an appointment for today at 6. Are you in? Uh, Peggy, I'm going to have to call you back. But... Has Amanda left for the day? Oh, a few minutes ago. Do you need something? Actually, I wanted to talk to you alone, if that's okay. Something personal, not business. Sure. I don't know if you're aware of this. I don't know how to phrase this, but I wear a hair replacement system. A toupee? A hair replacement system. Oh, I didn't know that. Anyways, it's a lot of work. I, I just got off the phone with my life coach, and he says I'm hiding behind it. The toupee. What does he mean? He says I'm clinging to this idea of who I think I am, a man with a nice head of hair. So he thinks that maybe you're trying to be something that isn't really you? He says I'm pinning my happiness to a dream of nice hair and that I could possibly be happier without it. I don't know what to do. Do you mind letting me see what you look like without a hair replacement system? Well, if I decide to keep it, you, you won't tell anyone I wear one, will you? No. Okay, then. Sir, you are a handsome man. I think you look better like this. You do? Yes, definitely. This is weird. <laughs> I desperately wanted this thing that I always thought I needed to be happy. Now you got me thinking that it's wrong to give a thing that kind of power. Thank you. What for? You just gave me some really great advice. Now it's my turn. Throw that thing away. You don't need it. Matthew, and I'm just thinking. Thinking? 
Huh. Oh. Shove over. Wouldn't want you to strain your brain. I think I know what's going on. I think you and Mrs. 309 had a fight, right? It's Rebecca. Yeah. It was about moving, wasn't it? That and a list of other things. I'm going to tell you something personal, Mr. 309. You don't even know my name, but go on ahead. You know, when I first started managing this building, I was friends with everyone, really good friends. But then they would move out, and I'd never see them again. Then, of course, other people moved in, and I became friends with them. And then they'd move out, and I'd never see them again. So year in and year out, people come, people go into my life, out of my life. And I got to tell you, it is so much easier watching people leave when you don't know who they are. Wow. I had no idea, Donnie. Whatever you and Mrs. Three... Rebecca. Rebecca were fighting about, don't let it consume you, because... Relationships are just so much more important than petty arguments. You're right. Thank you. Yeah, we should talk more often. If you really do care, maybe let people keep pets if they want them. It's just a thought. I'll think about it. I hate it when we fight. I'm such a jerk. No, I was a bigger jerk. Look, I don't need a house to be happy. I have you. Really? I don't have you? Of course you've got me. But you really don't need a house? When we can afford it, we'll talk about it. Until then, I just want to be with you, wherever you are. Me too. Oh, wow, babe. Fuck. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Wow. Of all places, right? Ralph. Oh, here, I got this. Oh, nice work, babe. I've been meaning to take that sign down. Some developer swooped in, offered me way more than I was asking. It should be closed within a month. Well, it sounds like you got a great deal. Yeah. I think the developer's going to tear it down and put up something more modern. I would love to have sold it to a young couple like yourselves, but nobody was interested. Believe me, if it was in our budget, we would have made an offer. It pains me to think of what that developer's gonna do. My wife loved this house. Did you try putting it online? Oh, yeah. But the pictures didn't do it justice. You know, it seems charming in person, seemed dull on the internet. No. Too bad we didn't know what you were selling. Probably could have helped you with those photos. No, no offense. I have never seen a photograph that could capture the scent of those white roses out front. Or, you know, how good it felt to curl up in front of the brick fireplace on a cold day. All those photos online are of houses. This, this is a home. Okay, so once you've created the first line of code for an action that you want to occur, you can always copy it and manipulate it for future use. So you don't have to start all the way over again. Exactly. See you tomorrow, Mr. Jones. I'll catch you later, Patrick. Honey, turn the radio to that station you like. I want to talk to Mr. Jones. Okay. 
Bye, Mr. Jones. Later, bud. Um, okay. is everything okay? Yeah, it's just about time I thanked you for staying late with Patrick. Oh, you're welcome. The first time I was late, it was an accident, but Patrick was so excited that he got to spend time alone with you. I've been late on purpose ever since. You're his favorite teacher. Really? I had no idea. Patrick loves to learn because of you. At first, you taught him so many new words, and, and now he's obsessed with technology and app design. I, I've never seen Patrick so excited about learning. Wow. I didn't know that I was really making much of a difference. I guess it just comes that naturally to you. But I have to ask, if you know so much about technology, why are you teaching English? That's the position that I happened into. Well, my older child's school is looking for a new technology teacher for their science department next year. If you can do what you did with Patrick in a room full of kids, they'll offer you the job in a second. Here's the school's information and the phone number for the head of school. So, uh, see you tomorrow, Mr. Jones. You bet. And take your time. I will. Thanks. Zach. Now, Stephanie's the one who called. That's who we talked to, but I feel like Zach is gonna be the one who owns the room. He's the new guy they brought on, so... Oh, yeah. Yes. How can you be so relaxed? We're about to pick from the biggest tech companies around. Dude, our act is cutting edge and totally original. We got this. And then everyone can share their chomped and scratched up pics on all their social media sites. That is why we feel the absurdist is an ideal fit for Tyranno Chomp. We like it. We love it. Sold. So what else you got? Uh, um, imagine a video game where you turn your pet into a crime-fighting superhero. Tell me more about that one. I mean, you thought Tyranno Bites was nice. <laughs> this is the one. I understand you have a pet, Rugby? Rugby, yeah. Yeah, now imagine Rugby with a cape on, flying over the city, saving the world. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Oh. Man of the year, baby. Excellent save with the pet superhero idea. I don't know where you come up with that, but wow. I'm telling you, this thing never stops working. Doesn't have an off switch. Mm. And that was way more money than I was expecting. Way more times two. You ran that meeting. Ah, oh, I felt good. We did it, man. This is your world. But I don't know if it's mine. You know, not using technology for so long has made me realize that there's a lot of other things I really like to do. Like what? Teaching. <laughs> what? I, I, I thought you didn't like teaching. Turns out I do. It's awesome, man. Seriously, it really is. All right, man. I gotta take care of something. All right, go celebrate. <laughs> You. Hey, Ralph, you got a minute? Sure. What's on your mind? I wanted to talk to you about your home. Oh, what's to talk about? 
If the deal with the developers isn't done yet, I'd like to offer to buy it. Now, I can't offer as much as they have, but I can get pretty close. And I can promise you, we will give this home the love it deserves. Come inside, let's talk. Thank you. You're welcome. Amanda? Jackson? I've... got something I need to tell you. I'm Dad. The shepherd? Wait, you knew? Not right away, but I figured it out. Dash's photo and profile were everything that I described to you. And you conveniently happened to be at our first date location when he stood me up. I'm really sorry, Amanda. Seriously, I know I've been an idiot. I shouldn't have done any of this. Truth be told, I just wanted to get to know you better. Still, that's no excuse. You have every right to be mad at me. Because a guy pretended to be something that he's not? Sad to say, but that's not a first for me. But actually, Dash made me realize some things. Well, I've been searching for this perfect guy for forever, and suddenly there's Dash, and on paper he's got everything that I've been hoping for. But for what? The more I thought about him, the more he seemed kind of boring. I mean, where do you go from perfect? There's no mystery or room for fun. So why would I want perfect? Yeah, perfect's it's the worst. Right? I just... I want a real-life, honest guy. You deserve that. So thank you for catfishing me, Jackson. <laughs> My pleasure. Hey, what's going on? Why'd you want me to meet you here? I wanted to show you this. Ralph's house? Our house. What? I talked to Ralph about buying it. But we can't afford it. We can now. Jackson and I sold her out. That's amazing. But you were so worried about all those costs, and you don't know when you're going to sell another app. We're not going to have to try to anymore. I spoke with the headmaster of a private school today, and I'm going to be joining their technology department next school year. I thought you didn't want to be a teacher. Turns out that I didn't want to be an English teacher. So, Ralph said that we can have it if we want. I know I want it. Do you? Is that a yes? Yes. <laughs> Does this mean we can have our phones back now? I don't know. What do you think? I think we proved to ourselves that we can do it. So, if we want to, we can. I'm not sure that I really want them back. I just, I love everything the way it is now.
Peggy. Oh, you made it. I wouldn't miss it. Oh, congratulations. Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh, OK. Yeah. Hey, guys, there. look who's here. Hey, hey. Hi, cool. thank you. Hi, Peggy and Ralph. Ralph, so nice to meet you. Oh, let me introduce you to my boss. This is Mr. P. Mr. P, sorry. This is my friend Peg. Pleasure to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, uh, this is Jenna. Oh, Jenna, nice to meet Can you. Can I help you a drink? I love Hi. one. Mm. Logan's here. Uh, Wait till you meet him. He's so handsome. I'm in love with him already. <laughs> Come here, Logan. Oh. Come here, you sweet thing. Oh. <laughs> Honey, your new baby <laughs> loves me. <laughs> He's not the only one. Tawny, it was so nice of you to change your mind about the dogs. You know, Jackson's wanted one forever. Yeah, well, I figured it's time I show I care. Oh, save the mush for the puppy. I think we did it, Mr. Jones. I think we did, Mrs. Jones. You know, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. What's that? Ever since we unplugged, I have fallen in love with you all over again.